Meantime, this was how a fire looked from inside a home after downed electrical wires caused a huge blaze in Delaware County. Fire officials say wind took out a tree branch that fell onto the power lines near several homes and parked cars in Folcroft. The live wires ignited a vehicle and then quickly spread. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Davis is live in Folcroft right now with a look at some of the damage out there. Kimberly. Natasha was a blaze that took 45 firefighters to get under control. No one was hurt, but officials believe wind may be to blame. All residents could do was watch as their vehicles went up in flames and the blaze creep closer to their homes. I was panicked. I thought my house was going to catch on fire. Firefighters believe wind may be the cause of the downed power lines. We arrived on location and found that there was a branch laying across the uh, high voltage lines. Once those live lines snapped and fell onto a car, it sparked a blaze. Diane Bednarik's SUV was damaged from the flames. By the time I came to the door, it was on fire all the way across the lawn behind my car and a little bit on the lawn between my house and my neighbor's house. Charles Moore tells us he was visiting a friend on the 700 block of School Lane when the power line fell onto his car early Friday afternoon. They came to the house and told us we had to leave the house. Climbed over the fences to get down two or three houses and then came out. You can't tell, but this was Moore's 2005 Ford 500. As the cleanup continues, residents are just glad all that was lost can be replaced. It's a car. Yeah, nobody got hurt. This house didn't get damaged. Now, Pico was called out to turn the power off before firefighters could even start working on that fire. As you can see, they're still out here this evening working to repair those down lines. For now, we are live in Falcroft this evening. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Kimberly, thank you.